In this exposition, we're going to simply show you how to get Django up and running with Tailwind as fast as possible. I added some content from the Tailblock official um, website, and this is supposed to present some beautiful HTML for me. Because I've not gotten Tailwind configured properly, this is just giving me a static HTML. Now we're going to install Tailwind on our machine. So now that's installed, we can clear the screen. And next, we need to make sure that we have Tailwind installed inside of our settings.py that's inside of our installed app. So we're going to put Tailwind right here and save. We need to do is to get Tailwind initiated. So we're gonna go. Alright, so I have some errors right here. Okay, that's because I didn't put a comma after my app the pipe. So now we have everything clear now. I want to run this. It's gonna ask for an app name. I'm gonna leave my as team as I'm gonna leave my I still okay see so this file already exists. Wow. So, so I already have it, I'm gonna take it out and try this one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my as that so it's gonna give me fresh installation. Uh here we have the templates and base the HTML. We're not gonna be using this but we're gonna be referring to this file inside of uh, my app um, up here. Alright, then we have our static um, content which is basically um, a skeleton of the node application so this is gonna do some pool for a tailwind and there's a configuration to run tailwind and all that next up we are going to create a variable known as tailwind my app which is gonna be the name team which is this app right here and the next thing we are going to do is we're going to set a list of IP address which is gonna help to reload the application uh, using a middleware which I'm gonna get to in a moment all right, with that installed, so this is going to be the default middleware right here. Ensure that debug is set to true, because if you don't, the middleware is not going to kick in and refresh your app automatically. The next thing we need to do is to pull the node packages for Tailwind, and this is going to do it via Python. The syntax, the syntax is Python. Manage to buy Tailwind install. All right, since that is now installed, you can see now we have our node package right here, and we're going to see how useful it is in a moment. Next up, we are going to add in a middleware for helping us reload the application. So, we're going to use the Django underscore browser underscore reload. Next up, we are going to add that middleware inside of our middleware series right here. So, it's going to be. clear okay I, I seem to be having a syntax error right here so we have dot middleware dot browser reload that is not middle it is middle okay let's try this one more time okay so we are clear for landing now next up we are going to make sure that we have a path that will make that push request to be able to get our app reloaded and it's already yeah, so it's going to pass through this URL and that is going to help with our application. The next thing we need to do is to start our tail, start our tail application. And we're going to do it with the command Python manage to pi tailwind and start. So this will create that file for us. If it wasn't, that is this, and this is going to push in every static file that is tied to every HTML, JavaScript, and the rest. So if I should save, we can see that it rebuilds over here. So if we add load underscore static tags, we should be able to link our CSS file to our Django HTML pages. So right here we have a 404 because we couldn't get the static file. When I save the index.html, it was able to automatically refresh the entire application. But we have a 404 right here for our static files. That is because we need to make sure that in our settings of pi we are pointing to this static folder because it's going to search for it and it is not going to get it because it is just pointing directly 
to the root right here all right so all we need to do is to point to this directory right here is inside of our static and it's so we need to get to this directory and it's going to pass to and get the css etc so what we need to do is just specify teams or slash and save so when it refreshes if i come here and save you're going to see that for our static files we are getting a 200 and now with that out of the way we have our beautiful tailwinds right here in all of his glory uh, if you like this kind of videos please do give me a like if you want to see more like this subscribe because in the future i'll be building an e-commerce app with django and flutter with payment gateway so hope to see you there so bye for now